Every couple of months, there's an event that kicks off this discussion whether Twitch is a dying platform and whether as a streamer you should go elsewhere. Typically, the community uproars for a few days and then it dies down. However, this seems to be happening a little bit more and more lately, and it's gotten me wondering whether or not something may actually change this time. Or rather, should something actually change? I've made videos on this topic before. Maybe we can... And I have given my thoughts on, you know, what you should do now. However, this conversation is just happening so much more lately, so I kind of wanted to update my opinion on this scenario and give you all at home, uh, hopefully, a good insight into some stuff that may or may not be beneficial for you and your content. This video is sponsored by the wonderful people over at Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing platform in which you can learn anything you want to do, be it live streaming, how to make YouTube videos, how to cook steak right, or anything else at all you could think of. Skillshare runs some amazing classes that are so easily consumable and done to such a high standard. I love learning new things and Skillshare has been invaluable for me on my content journey and it can be invaluable for you too. One course that I absolutely love and always talk about is YouTube success, script, shoot and edit with Marquise Brownlee. Anyone who has been on YouTube long enough knows that Marquise is an absolute amazing YouTuber, both in content and quality. In this massively comprehensive course, Marquise goes over everything you're gonna to need to know to make a fully fledged YouTube channel and gain success from it. He goes over how to shoot videos, script them, and tips for posting them as well. I would absolutely recommend it to anyone who's thinking about getting a start here on YouTube, which is pretty fundamental to what this video is actually about. If you want to check out Skillshare for yourself, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month trial of Skillshare. And you can also use code X2Shoes on the website to avail of this free month as well. Thanks to Skillshare again for continuously supporting the channel and being a great friend to me and providing lovely things. So recently, Bloomberg reported on some changes to the Twitch partner program that a lot of people saw as extremely problematic. Now, it's important to note that at the time of recording, these changes haven't been confirmed by Twitch. It's only been reported that they've been considered by Twitch. And these changes are incentives for more ads, a new suggested revenue split, new tier systems, no more exclusivity, and the changes could be implemented as early as this summer. Now, let's just go over what those things mean first off. Recently, a lot of creators were invited to trial a new ad system on Twitch where they had to play X amount of ads every hour. And if you engaged with it, you got better ad revenue or you got a little bit of a payout, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't invited, but I know some people who were. So I'm assuming that they're gonna be rolling that out on a wider basis if these changes go through. The second one, and this is the one that caused the most outrage among creators, was that Twitch want to change the revenue split from 70-30 to 50-50. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what that means is, this is referring to the subscriber revenue split between Twitch and the creator. Right now, if you're an affiliate and you get a 4.99 tier one subscriber, you receive 50% of that, 250, and Twitch received the other 50%. So currently some partners receive a 70-30 split, meaning that they receive 70% of all subscriber revenue and Twitch only take 30%, whereas this report suggests that Twitch will now be taking 50% and only giving 50% to the creator. So it would basically be the same share as an affiliate. Now we'll talk a little bit more on this later because there's a lot to be said here. New tiers system. Now, nobody's really sure what this means yet, but I'm wondering if this means that there's gonna be changes to a subscription tier one, tier two, and tier three. Maybe they'll be adding in like a 1.5 subscription or adding in something above tier three. I'm just speculating on this point. This could be changes to the affiliate program for all I know in terms of there could be like a tier one affiliate and a tier two affiliate and then partner. We'll have to keep an eye on this one. No more exclusivity. This is a really big one. So currently, if you're a Twitch partner, you are exclusive to Twitch. You cannot stream on YouTube, Facebook gaming or any other platform. If I was a Twitch partner, I don't know if it's something I would necessarily avail of, but it's cool to have that option, I suppose. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, when this news broke, the community went wild. Everybody from smaller streamers to massive streamers were freaking out about these changes, specifically the rev share one. Now look, in a perfect world, I definitely think affiliates and partners should have a 70-30 split. I want to make it clear that I'm 100% on board with the fact that we should all have that revenue split. Look, be it fair or not, it's just how it is. Every time anyone's in any job, they want to be paid more. I get that. But I want to just give my takes on all these things from what people have been saying. So when this news broke, everyone started shouting that thing of Twitch is dead, it's dying, they're digging their own grave, they're doing doing all this stuff. And we see this every time when Ludwig leaves, when a big creator leaves, when something is announced that is people aren't on board with. So if you're someone who's been hearing a lot of these kind of let's all up in arms and get off the platform, go elsewhere, I want to just talk about some things that maybe you would like to consider. Firstly, let's take YouTube as a platform. Currently on YouTube, you can live stream. You're also eligible to monetize those streams if you are in the YouTube partner program. Currently, the revenue share on YouTube is 70-30, meaning that you as a creator receive 70% of memberships, which are basically like subs, except on YouTube, and YouTube only take 30 that's across the board, you get that straight away. YouTube have also slowly
slowly but surely been improving the platform. They've just added raids. What do they call it? Cross-channel redirects. Like, I mean, obviously people will just call them raids, but I just can't imagine any streamer sitting there and being like, oh, what's up, pal? Thank you so much for the cross-channel redirect. <laughs> Some really cool features with these redirects that, you know, you can look into for yourself. But yeah, they're going to be there. They'll definitely add in gifted memberships or like a free membership with your YouTube premium or something. They know this information. I'm 99% sure it's going to come. However, right now, it's not. And that's a big thing holding people back. But on the flip side, YouTube gaming just lacks so many features. The chat experience is horrible. The streaming experience, in my opinion, is not great. I've streamed on YouTube. The latency between what you say and what your chat hurt here, even in... In ultra low latency mode is so long it's just not a fun experience the chat's hard to read everything's weird i don't like it that's just my personal opinion but i know that when i've streamed on youtube it just feels empty there's a lot of stuff lacking now i know there's things like ludwig's add-on and stuff like that that make these things better but as i've said before he should not have had to make that that should have already been a thing i'm not going to talk too much about facebook gaming in this video because it's not something i've used or ever intend to use but you know all you facebook gaming streamers out there i see you Good job. Pros, cons, all these kind of things. We could talk about it for hours. But I want to give my spicy take on what people are saying currently. I would rather have 50% of something rather than 100% of nothing. If we look at what this reported rev share split says, it's dropping that 70% split down to 50%. Let's look at that in a wider picture. As of March 2020, there were 41,000 Twitch partners. It's important to remember here that not all of those partnered accounts are active. That is just the number of Twitch partners. I've known Twitch partners who haven't streamed in two years. It is what it is. So if we take that 41,000 streamers, knock a few thousand off that maybe aren't active, we also have to knock a few more thousand off for those who do not have that 70-30 split. Not every Twitch partner receives a 70-30 split. A lot of Twitch partners only receive a 50-50 revenue split, just like affiliates. However, if you have a lot of subscribers, you're more likely to be offered a higher percentage deal from Twitch. I know Twitch partners who stream that have three or four viewers, just because you hear the word Twitch partner doesn't necessarily mean top tier, massive streamer. I've heard of people on 70-30, I've heard of people on 60-40, I've heard of people on 50-50 for tier one, 60-40 for tier two, and 70-30 for tier three. You have to remember that not all of these contracts operate the exact same. Some of the higher level top streamers on the platform probably have different deals again. It's different for everybody. You could be watching this as a Twitch partner with 70-30 and another Twitch partner could have 50-50. It does not always mean everyone's at 70-30. I agree that this is terrible for those people affected by it, and I'm sorry that's happening. But it only really affects current partners on that deal and potential partners who hope to have that deal one day. It is not necessarily a massive cause for concern for me and you, the little people on the platform, right? We are still operating the same way we always have. What happens with these things is you see a lot of these bigger voices on the platform who are affected by this split. They kind of are up in arms, and I fear that it does trickle down through everybody who thinks, oh God, Twitch is going to die now. We gotta jump ship. At the start of this segment, I'd rather receive 50% of something rather than 70% of nothing. I understand that that's a little bit of a defeatist attitude. I understand that if people in the world just dealt with things that happened and didn't try to fight back for things, not a lot of change would have happened. But as someone who relies on this split to pay my bills and pay my rent at the end of the month, you know, I'm happy with that. I'm happy that I can do that. Yes, it would be nice. And I agree with all the people and I fully support all the people who are pushing for this split. But for me, I'm like, okay, I knew this information. I can't really be annoyed at it. But let's say currently you're a Twitch affiliate you have 100 subscribers and maybe you average uh, 30 viewers, okay, 20 viewers or below. You decide you're going to leave Twitch for YouTube gaming because you think, wow, I have 100 subscribers here. If I got 100 members over on YouTube, I could be earning way more money. Unfortunately, the likelihood is your 100 subscribers will not follow you to YouTube gaming. Yes, you have the potential to earn more money. You are going to have to start from the ground up. Although Twitch has its issues with discoverability, I would argue those issues are way worse on YouTube gaming currently. The thing is, we have seen proof of concept that viewers will follow streamers to other platforms. Look at Ludwig, look at Tin the Tatman. Their viewers are great, like just as good as they always were, if not a little bit better. But these folks have signed exclusivity deals with YouTube. They are being paid a shit ton of money to stream on YouTube by YouTube totally fine. Congrats to them. But if we look at somebody like Dr. Disrespect, who is not in an exclusivity deal with YouTube, Doc has been transparent that since he's left Twitch, his revenue has been cut in half. And he's somebody who had thousands and thousands and thousands of viewers, and still that revenue is not there. I make probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. A year later from being banned from the platform, well, you know, a lot of people think, hey, Doc, you did good. 
You're doing, you're incredible. I, I listen. We've we've certainly m tried to maximize the most of what we have to work with. This lack of revenue when people leave Twitch is because Twitch just has better monetization options. It has better monetization incentives. Things like leaderboards, cheering is better. It's just a better platform for that. There's so many more options. Even donating to a streamer via PayPal or any other third party is a lot easier through Twitch, even though you're not using Twitch to do that. And I know people are saying, well, when gifted memberships come in, it'll change. The platform has to be there first. The community is still on Twitch. And I know a lot of streamers are kind of saying, well, I'm getting into YouTube now and I'm not getting any viewers on Twitch. I've been averaging one viewer for two years on Twitch. So I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to like get a start there. And you know, people are going to watch me because it's a better platform. But people fail to realize that, and this might sound mean, that bad content on one platform is just going to still be bad content on another platform. Just because you're moving around and splitting your viewership all the time does not, isn't, it's not going to equal success. But that's not to say that you should not be prepared to make that change. If you're somebody who's very much in like team YouTube and you believe in what they're trying to build over there, absolutely 100% power to you but that doesn't mean you should completely discount twitch either until such a time that there is no choice you need to be doing both be it twitch and youtube gaming or twitch and facebook gaming or facebook gaming and youtube you need to be there and if it's youtube gaming you have to have a presence on the site and you gotta start doing it now post your shorts here start making videos here whatever something to solidify you and start building an audience no matter how big that if you do decide to make that change or if twitch force you to make that change you have a little base community that you can build on. I mentioned earlier that like I rely on Twitch a lot of times to pay my bills. That's not necessarily true. I rely on Twitch and YouTube to pay my bills. I know that if I left Twitch tomorrow, I'm very lucky that I have a little base of operations here on YouTube that I could start to build back up of. Or if I decided to leave YouTube, I have Twitch. I could double down on that. Having the option to move is better than not having it at all. I'm putting all your eggs in one basket. Put your eggs in multiple baskets, okay? If you're someone who's maybe a little bit intimidated or nervous to start a YouTube channel, I made a video called why you should have a YouTube channel as a streamer. Go check that out. It will help out in this situation. To finish off, do I think Twitch is dead? No, but the ball is in their court. There's only so much people will take before they just forget about the bad news in a week or two. And I feel like this news could potentially be the start of that. I love Twitch with every fiber of my being. I love streaming on it. It's my favorite part of my day. When I've finished my YouTube stuff, although I love this as well, I love hopping on and just talking to everybody for a little while. It's my favorite thing. But it's also really frustrating to watch a platform that you care so much about make these stupid decisions time after time. So I'm hoping that we get some good news to focus on in the next few weeks or months rather than bad news to focus on. It's not looking likely, but as I said, Twitch, the ball's in your court. So everybody, those are my thoughts on all the news unfolding. If you agree with me, let me know down in the comments below. If you disagree with me, more importantly, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like on it. And if you're not subscribed here, please consider subscribing. I post new streaming content, tips and tricks, all that stuff every single week, and it's a great time. So with that, I will see you next week. Peace out, much love, bye-bye.